It's supposed to be above 90 degrees this afternoon in the town of Buxton, but at 9 o'clock this morning, it's already in the mid-80s indoors on the second floor of the Bonnie Eagle Middle School. It is that much more unbearable when they're in there with their masks on on top of the heat. Bonnie Eagle Superintendent Paul Penna visiting the schools in his district this morning on a very hot day. Only one school in his district has air conditioning. Now the rest are, as Penna describes, little ovens. Are there are opportunities for kids to spread out outside or go to the cafeteria for a breather. But for everyone's safety, school's being let out early before it gets too hot. We get a education in early in the morning and then um, cool off for the afternoon. In Bangor, schools all remote for 10 out of 11 schools in their district without AC. I had always preferred to have students in school with a heat advisory. It was just not a safe environment. Especially since Bangor's intermediate superintendent says they're not allowed to blow fans during the coronavirus pandemic, except when it's pulling air out of the classroom. Due to CDC guidance, uh, fans are not recommended because if somebody were ill and that air is blowing on everybody, it could certainly be a spreader. Most can agree that 95 degrees for Maine is very hot, especially with a face covering on. And superintendents want their kids to be as safe and as comfortable as possible. For WMTW News 8, I'm Talia Clark.